The addiction to sugar, the addiction to carbohydrates, it's real. Studies have actually proven that carbohydrates and sugar, when it hits your brain, is more addictive than cocaine. So if you're in that boat, you're not alone. There is something you can do about it. It is a real comfort type situation. In this video though, I'm gonna show you seven things that you can do right now to quickly break that bond, that dependence, and really break three from being addicted to this food or any food for that matter, so you can gain your health back. It's got a lot of implications, but we eat a ton of it. Do you know how much the average American eats in pounds of sugar every single year? 150. 150 pounds plus of sugar every single year. Think about the amount of sugar that is. How? How is that even possible that we put that much sugar in? Because it's in everything now. Sugar is in everything. It's got so many code words, it's almost hard to keep track of. I thought I would just take a crack at giving you these code words. This is page 28 out of our Make Food Simple book, and I'm going to attempt to go and read all 61 of them. Agave nectar, barbosa, sugar, barley, malt, barley malt syrup, beet sugar, brown sugar, butter syrup, cane juice, cane juice, crystals, cane sugar, caramel, caramel syrup, castor oil, coconut palm sugar, coconut sugar, confectioner sugar, corn sweet, corn syrup, corn syrup, salads, day sugar, dehydrated cane sugar, demara sugar, dextrin, dextrose, evaporated cane sugar, free flowing blood sugars, fructose, fruit juice, fruit juice, concentrate, glucose, glucose, salads, golden sugar, golden syrup, grape syrup, high fructose corn syrup, honey, icing sugar, invert sugars, malt syrup, malt dextrin, malt dough, malt dose, manose, maple syrup, molasses, muscoba, muscovado, palm sugar, pan ocha, powdered sugar, raw sugar, refiner syrup, rice syrup, saccharose, sorghum syrup, sucrose, sugar, sweet sorghum syrup, treacle, terminal sugar, yellow sugar. No wonder we have so much sugar inside of our system. Twenty. Page 28, 61 different names of sugar that are hidden inside the foods that you're eating. We need to make food simple. You need to get the sugar out of your life. No wonder you're addicted because this drug is everywhere. And it's linked to so many diseases. When you look at the who's who of chronic diseases in our country right now, Sugar is the primary driver of diabetes, excess weight, lower energy, uh, excessive candida buildup and bacteria, which causes excess weight. It's linked to poor dental health, poor gum health. It's linked to cancer. It's linked to depression. It's linked to anxiety. It's linked to increased risk of heart disease, high cholesterol, high blood pressure. It's linked to kidney disease. It's linked to ki decreased kidney function, de decreased mental focus, and dementia. In fact, dementia, Alzheimer's, is being called type three diabetes because of too much sugar in the system. So if that's not a big enough reason to kick this habit, I don't know what is. We can't wait around for this to get the better of us. Let's get after your addiction, your cravings, cutting the carbs down, cutting the sugar out by still being able to enjoy things. Here's the top seven. Let's do this. To the whiteboard, number one, do a sugar fast. Sounds really easy, Dr. Living Good. Yeah, just cut it all out. But a sugar fast is a concept that a lot of people haven't tackled and you are so much more strong-willed than you give yourself credit for. 21 to 28 days of doing a sugar fast. If you didn't know how to do that, uh, you can join one of our challenges. We show you how to cut the sugar out, but it's more about understanding all of those sources of sugar, where they're coming from. And even foods that are healthy, like honey, even foods that are healthy, like fruits, cutting those out for a period of time so you give your body an opportunity to live without this so-called drug. To live without this, you change your taste buds. A lot of people go through the sugar fast process. They will try the soda, the soda sugary drink that they love a month later and they're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I drink this all the time because it's so sweet. Your taste buds, your mental dependence, and your body can change. It's reprogrammable. Nothing better than a sugar fast. More info below on that if you need help getting started out. Number two, healthy substitutes. If you are substituting in diet sodas, skinnies, light versions of coffees and drinks and teas and um, powders. And if you're using aspartame and ACE-K and sucralose and Splenda, these are super toxic dietary additives that are used to replace the sugar, but have actually been shown to be more harmful in sugar and they increase your addiction to the sugar. They take you the wrong direction. So we can't substitute with those. Use healthy substitutes. Monk fruit is my favorite because it comes from a form of a fruit. It doesn't spike your insulin levels and it doesn't have that nasty chemical aftertaste. Stevia is another option. Don't overdo that one. Uh, it does have a little bit more of an aftertaste to it. Those are decent options. You may try sugar alcohols. Got to be careful with some of them because they can cause gastro irritation. Allulose is another good option too. So proper healthy substitutes. Number three, ACV. You down with ACV? Yeah, you know me. And if you got a carb addiction, that is what's going to set you free. Wow. Didn't know I was wrapping it up today. 
it has been shown in studies to decrease sugar cravings. Taking apple cider vinegar, especially right before a meal, especially right before a meal that it contains carbohydrates, it's gonna decrease that. So I would advise taking a capful before a meal or two tablespoons twice a day while you're trying to break these addictions. Number four, the konjac root. Just head out to your yard and pick some konjac. The konjac root uh, is a root that is very high in glucoman. And so you can actually have this source, get it in uh, usually a powder or a supplement form. I actually include this right into our collagen uh, that we have because it has been shown to lower blood sugar, uh, sugar levels and make you feel more full. So it is satisfying, makes the gut feel more full, detoxes the liver, lowers blood sugar, along with the cravings for wanting to eat more, 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 more. So glucoman is a good weapon to add in. Uh, that thick mixture kind of makes things thicker in the guts, thickens it up, so you feel more full. So try that one out. It's found in the collagen, or you can find it in a simple supplement form. Konjac root is where that comes from. Number five, decrease your stress, increase your sleep. Decrease your stress, increase your sleep. Say it with me. Decrease the stress, in <laughs> increase your sleep. Why? Ghrelin. Ghrelin is the gremlin of your appetite. Ghrelin is the hunger hormone. What is driving your carbohydrates, driving your sugar addictions. So we got to decrease ghrelin. Well, ghrelin, how do we do that? Decreasing stress decreases ghrelin. Increasing sleep, rest, and recovery decreases ghrelin. The more stressed you are, the more of that hunger hormone is going to be gremlin and around. I don't know why that word just reminds me of gremlin inside of your body. So decrease the hunger hormone. We got to decrease the stress, uh, breathing, more sleeping, uh, movement, uh, uh, some herbs, adaptogenic herbs can help with this. Uh, I really like the breathing exercises though. There's more resources on this page about that. All right, number six, are you hungry or are you thirsty? The next time you get a craving, replace it with something to drink. You could do a sparkling water, you could do regular water, you could do water with lemon, you could do water with uh, cucumber. You could do a, um, a greens powder mix. You could do an electrolyte powder mix. Just make sure there is no diet chemicals in it and no sugar in it. And that would be a great replacement. You'd be shocked how often, especially late at night, you're actually thirsty, but your body's confusing it for hunger. Great way to break the addiction. Finally, number seven, fill that void. The cycle that a lot of you tend to get stuck in is we get stressed out. We get a strain in our life and we meet that void with food. And then that gives us comfort but it is short-lived and we are very quickly right back up here to stresses and strains again. How many listening, how many people are just stuck in this loop, in this state? That's where we live. And our reliance and our quick fix is always the comfort food. You have the ability to break that trend. Step one is realizing, I get stressed out, I get uncomfortable, or I come back to a place of home for me emotionally, and that's through food. But that is an unhealthy long-term habit to be living off of, and you can change those by making a decision. You can change those with the proper mentality of, okay, I'm recognizing that I'm meeting this feeling again. I don't wanna to go to my normal comfort home. I've gotta move. I've gotta move. What do we need to do? Well, you can literally move. You can walk. Doing this suppresses the urge to eat because when you are running from a rattlesnake that you see in the woods, your hormones and your nervous system response literally decreases ghrelin, decreases the hunger inside of your body. And it says, crank up all the blood supply, forget about digestion and wanting food right now, we gotta go. So by moving your body, you activate decreasing your hunger. Exercise of any type will do this. Walking's an easy one for anybody, right? Read, stimulate your brain, put it, stimulate that energy towards something else, redirect the energy that you call stress and redirect it into usefulness. Clean, you clean your house, uh, sleep, just go to bed, just say no, just don't do it. Some simple things, there's a lot, several other ways to fill the void. The first step is understanding there's a gap 
understanding that this is a comfort food and you keep going back to that place of home and comfort and it is time to move to change that void. Seven ways you can break that carb addiction, that sugar addiction. If you need help with that, check out the resources I put there below. And to make this ACV taste better so you can lower those sugar cravings and start to zap that, check out this next video here where I show you my three favorite recipes to get that stuff choked down, if, especially if you don't like the vinegary taste. Check it out.